Welcome back, Algebra. Um, so we finished up our little mini unit on radicals. Um, before all of this craziness occurred, we were doing Unit 10. And in Unit 10, we had just taken our first quiz on multiplying and adding and subtracting polynomials. What I'm going to do today is we're going to do a quick recap of the Unit 10 stuff that we did before spring break. And then what we'll do moving forward is we're going to start to continue on with the Unit 10 material. Um, we had kind of a little break with the radicals. It was a little bit easier material. Hopefully it, it was a nice, easy way to transition into this e-learning. And now we're going to go on to Unit 10 because Unit 10 is a super important unit. Um, we're going to get into stuff called factoring. And factoring is something you're going to see a ton ton of in geometry and algebra 2 and future math classes. So, um, but before we get into all the new stuff of unit 10, I just want to refresh your memory because it has been a while. So you're going to need just this random piece of paper. I don't have an official note sheet for you today. Um, and then starting next week, we will be using our unit 10 packets that we had before break. Um, if at any time you don't have the note sheet or the worksheet, um, you can't find it, you don't have a paper copy, all of the copies of the blank note sheets um, as well as the blank worksheets are located on Canvas. So feel free to print them out from home or write them on your own paper, whatever works best for you. Alright, so for now what we're going to do is just a quick recap of kind of what our first quiz covered. Um, so some of the things that we did was we talked about polynomials and polynomials remember are just a bunch of different terms being added or subtracted together um, so you know something like 4x cubed plus 3x squared minus 2x plus 7 that's an example of a polynomial it's a bunch of different terms being added or subtracted together. And one of the things that we did with polynomials was we added and we subtracted polynomials. So that's the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add or subtract some of the polynomials. Uh, so the first one we're going to do is something like this. So we've got 4x cubed plus 2x squared plus 3 plus, and then our other polynomial is 6x cubed minus... 5x squared plus 6x minus 4. All right, if you recall, we did have some names for those that had three terms. Remember, it was called a trinomial. Um, you don't really need to really focus too much on that. But we have a trinomial plus a polynomial. Polynomial has more than three terms. And when you're adding and subtracting, you are just combining like terms. So we're just going to combine like the x cubed with the x cubed. We're going to combine the x squared with the x squared. Watch your signs. Um, we're going to combine the x with the x and we're going to also combine any numbers that don't have variables and combine those together. Um, remember when you're adding and subtracting variables, so something like 4x cubed plus 6x cubed, you combine the coefficients, so 4 plus 6 is 10. The exponents do not change when you're adding and subtracting, so this will become 10x cubed. Then we have the x squared, so we have 2x squared plus a negative 5x squared. Combine 2 and negative 5, you get negative 3. x squared does not change. Okay, remember you can only combine x with x, x squared with x squared, x cubed with x cubed, etc. There's only this guy that has an x, so I'm going to put plus 6x. And then 3 and a minus 4 would be a negative 1. You can put plus negative 1 or just minus 1. Either one is totally fine, and then that would be it. You cannot combine any of these together any further because they all have different variables with different exponents. Alright, let's look at number 2. Let's subtract 1. Let's say you have 2x plus 6 minus, and then 4x squared plus 3x minus 6. All right, if you recall, when it had two terms, that was called a binomial. So we're doing a binomial minus a trinomial. When there's a minus, what I would recommend is this is the same thing as saying there's a negative 1 in front. If you want to think of this as a plus negative 1, you can do so. What we need to do is distribute that negative and turn everything into its opposite. So we're going to have 2x plus 6 
and then we distribute the negative, you're going to get negative 4x squared, negative 3 times 3x is negative 3x, and negative times a negative is a positive 6. All right, and then what you're going to do is you're going to now add them together, just like we did the one above. So we're going to combine any x squareds together. I always start with the highest exponent, work my way down. I only have this guy, negative 4x squared. There's no other x squared. So I'm just going to write negative 4x squared, and I'm done with him. Now I can combine the 2x and the minus 3x. 2x plus negative 3x. Combine 2 and negative 3, you get negative 1. And then again, the exponent doesn't change. So it's a negative 1x. You can put minus x, you can put minus 1x, plus negative x. Any way of those is fine. Um, and then we have 6 plus 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. All right, and then you're all set, and that's your answer. Okay. Um, and then let's do one more where we have some kind of distributing going on here. So let's say you have 2x squared plus 3x plus 6 plus 4 times x squared minus 6x plus 3. Okay, so for this one, to start off, we need to distribute, just like we did the last one. Last one we distributed a negative, this one we're distributing a 4. The 4 just gets distributed to the second parenthesis. 4 times x squared is 4x squared. 4 times negative 6 is negative 24x. 4 times 3 is 12. And then we're combining it with this first guy, which is also a trinomial. Um, 2x squared plus 4x squared. Combine the coefficients, 2 and 4 is 6, and it stays x squared. Then we have the x's, 3x, and that's a negative 24x. 3 and negative 24 is negative 21, and it stays x. And then 6 and 12, 6 plus 12, you're going to get 18. All right, and that becomes your answer. So that was uh, a lot of adding and subtracting of polynomials. And then the big chunk of what we got into after that was multiplying. So to start off, we did something like x plus 6 times x minus 2, something like that. All right, what you're going to do is you can either distribute. Remember, we did a lot of distributing. Or some of you really liked creating the box. Since it's two terms by two terms, you could put x and 6 here, and then x and then minus 2, negative 2 can go here. Um, and then you multiply each row by each column. Either way, you'll get the same answer. When you're multiplying, be careful with variables. x times x, remember you're going to multiply the, the coefficients. 1 times 1 is 1, and then you add the exponent. So it becomes x squared. x times x is 1x squared, or just x squared. Um, and then you're going to do x times negative 2. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. All right, 6 times x is a positive 6x. I'm doing kind of both at the same time. You can do whichever one you prefer. 6 times negative 2 is negative 12. All right, and then after that, you want to combine like terms. You can only combine them if they have the same letter with the same exponent. So these two are the only one you can combine. So we have x squared. Negative 2x plus 6x is a positive 4x. And then we have a minus 12. All right, and that becomes your answer. Over here, it's the same thing. You would combine those together. You get the same answer. All right, we'll do another one of these. Let's say you have something like... Uh, 2x plus 4 times x plus 3. All right. Um, same idea. You can multiply by distributing or you can create the box. We've got 2x plus 4 and x plus 3. You're going to multiply 2x times x. When you do that, remember you're going to multiply the coefficients. 2 times 1 is 2. You add the exponents. x times x is x squared. So you get 2x squared. 2x times 3 becomes 6x. 4 times x becomes 4x. And then 4 times 3 becomes 12. All right. And then from there, you can combine 6x and 4x. Uh, 6x plus 4 more gives you 10x's. And then that would be your answer. Okay, you can't combine any further because none of the variables have the same exponents after that point. All right, and then the last one is something like this. If you have 3x plus 6 
quantity squared. Okay, 3x plus 6 quantity squared. Remember that means that you're going to be doing 3x plus 6 times 3x plus 6. So that it'll look very much like number 5. You can then either distribute or create the box. It's your call. You'll have a 3x and a 6 here and a 3x and a 6 here. You're going to multiply 3x times 3x. You get 9x squared. 3 times 3 is 9. x times x is x squared. 3x times 6, you'll get 18x. All right, 6 times 3x is again 18x. And then 6 times 6, which is 36. From there, you can combine the x to the first. You'll have 18x plus 18x is 36x plus 36. All right, um, what we're going to get into in the next few videos is factoring. We're going to go from something like 9x squared plus 36x plus 36, and you'll be coming up with this as your answer. We'll be kind of going backwards. We're going to start off with this like a trinomial, and you're going to write it as the multiplication of the product of two binomials. All right, eventually that's what we're going to do. We're going to start with like x squared plus 4x minus 12, and the answer after you factor will be x plus 6 times x minus 2. But that's coming up soon. Um, so hopefully you kind of remember this stuff a little bit, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.